In Poland, we have done a lot to implement the WISIS agenda during the last 10 years. I can give you many examples. We started in 2008 from the adoption of the strategy for the development of information society. This strategy played an important integrating role for many different groups of stakeholders. Another very interesting initiative is the Digital Poland of Equal Chances. We want to integrate the Polish people age 50 plus into the digital world. We set up the Digital Lighthouse Keepers project, in which we have almost 3,000 volunteers called Lighthouse Keepers in every community. They show elderly how the internet can change their life. In 2012, Poland received the WISIS project prize for it. I actively support the project Women and Girls in ICT. It includes many social activities, such as girls as engineers and girls in new technologies. We encourage young women to choose studies and jobs in the IT sector. Last year, we organized the conference Women of Success in ICT, which showed the role models for young women. Another important initiative is the Digital School, project dedicated for primary schools. In this way, we developed the digital skills of teachers and students and increased the number of digital natives. We could uh, give many examples of the activities in scope of the WISIS action lines in Poland. Let me start with our mapping project which aims to create a national database on telecommunication infrastructure. In this system, my authority collects data submitted by telecommunication operators, local governments and public utilities. We prepare the summary of this data in a report on coverage of Poland by existing telecommunication infrastructure. This data helps investors to make business decisions on the development of new networks, but not only it. Other entrepreneurs, when taking decisions about the location of factories, logistic centers, or shopping malls, ask us about existing telecommunication infrastructure. Info highways are the highways of the 21st century. Moreover, being one of the leaders in infrastructure mapping, we have recently signed with ITO the letter of engagement on building interactive terrestrial transmission maps for Poland. Also, in our action, we look at the Polish consumers' needs. It is very important. I signed in 2012 the memorandum on cooperation with operators to improve the quality of services. The objective was to provide users with access to all necessary information and to identify the quality of service, indicators and expectations. What is also important for the citizens is safety in emergency situation. In 2011, we create the location and information platform with a central database. It is managed by my office and supports collecting information on the location of people who require immediate assistance. The platform helps us to reduce the response time when calling to emergency numbers. In my opinion, the WISIS process is one of the ways to show solidarity and commitment to Millennium Development Goals. Therefore, Poland believes that we shall continue to bridge the digital divide and connect unconnected. Measures taken under many different WISIS action lines is clo in close cooperation with private sector have been a tool for reducing the differences between regions and countries. The year 2013 in Poland was the time to sum up the investment projects implemented as a part of the EU financial perspective. It was also the moment to plan the future action and initiatives. Two very important action plans. First, the Digital Poland program adopted by the Council of Ministers. It focuses on access to high-speed internet, the development of e-services and digital skills of Poles. 
The main goal of this program is to use the digital potential to improve the quality of life in Poland. We are planning to begin its implementation in the second half of 2014. Second, uh, the adoption of the national broadband plan. The main aim is to reduce the difference in broadband access across Poland. It is expected that 50% of our citizens will have access to ultra-fast internet until 2020. I hope that it will be much more faster. And all citizens to 30 uh, megabits per second. Before us is auction for 800 megahertz which will provide operators with frequencies for mobile broadband. And of course, we will continue our activities to improve digital skills in the society.